health facilities, affecting some laboratories and leaving many communities without access to health care services. I'm joined now by Chief of Medical Field Office uh, with the UNICEF, Christiana Maya Alfirev. Uh, thank you for joining us on the news this hour. We've seen uh, a massive influx of displaced persons into camps in Medjugorje. What does UNICEF consider the pressing health challenges at the moment? Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, yes, the main, I mean, the main health challenge is, of course, cholera, because with this uh, very unprecedented and unexpected flooding, where water just flowed into the street on Monday night, uh, we have, uh, according to our information, some 200,000 people are affected, and that includes uh, 80,000 people that have been displaced from their homes due to the floods, and 60,000 of these people are in camps. This means 60,000 people um, uh, converging into places that are not really yet set up. And so the main risk, of course, with the standing and contaminated water is cholera in, in this urban setting. Well, as we speak now, health facilities have been cut off, including laboratories. Let's talk about UNICEF's support to government in providing health care services to flood victims, particularly in terms of emergency response and long-term health care solutions? Yes. So right now we are uh, three days or so after the floods. So the main focus right now is on <clears throat> providing life-saving support uh, to those displaced in camps right now, because there are others that are displaced um, in, uh, in host families, including some of our colleagues. But so the ones that really need the help most is those uh, that have uh, assembled in camps and there we're supporting the government especially in health and then also in providing water and sanitation services. So we have set up um, uh, temporary health centers um, that are manned by government workers, uh, health workers, uh, and provi to provide the uh, basic uh, health services and health care. Um, secondly, we're, uh, we've been uh, providing uh, clean, safe, uh, safe water uh, via trucks, so we're provide, um, dr driving the trucks to the camps, um, so at least the water intake is uh, safe and clean. And then we're, uh, the sanitation is, of course, key to prevent cholera, so uh, we're also working on installing latrines as, fa as fast as possible, so we're on the way. Are there specific challenges UNICEF is facing uh, responding to the flood crisis and how are you working to overcome these obstacles? So, of course, this is a... Um, the main challenges are the physical obstacles in the city. Um, a, a way, a road that would otherwise take uh, 15 minutes or to, to go from, one to, from A to B is now 45 minutes, if at all. And uh, one part of the city with one camp is cut off from the other part of the city. So our uh, problem is this, uh, the physical access because one bridge is, uh, has been damaged. Um, and so that is uh, the main challenge we're facing right now and the, the, the city as a whole. UNICEF Chief of Medjugorje Field Office, Christiana Maya Afirev. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Let's turn now to 